everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of the Horde Rush series. And in today's episode, oddly enough, I think I am going to invest in lockpicking. And this might sound strange, also going to put a point into advanced engineering. Now the reason why is that those are the two perks that govern your drop chance for the Forge Ahead series. Do I have any more water? I don't. Damn. Well, I guess I'll just drink what I have now. 40, and then we'll do one more batch. Call it good. So I have a little bit of cobblestone. I think the most important place to put that would probably be up here. Then over here. Though it's probably a bad idea to just add weight to the end of this. But whatever. Not worried about it. Gives me a nice little XP boost for now. There's that. Scrap what's here. I'm also going to take a moment while running toward this quest to plant some trees. Just for my own convenience. I suppose I don't have to be particular about it, so I'll just make a straight line between me and the quest. <laughs> the goal is to get as many Forge Ahead books as possible, because we're going to need, well, iron and steel. Mostly the steel. Because we have it on three times XP rates, it's not likely that we're going to be able to... What? Why can't I? Oh, there we go. It's not likely that we're going to be able to handle too much with just cobblestone. I mean, we could do a bit with cement, but we also need Forge Ahead for that. So we'll just have to keep an eye out. Anything that can give us those Forge Ahead books is the absolute maximum priority. And the best way to get those, as far as I know, let's go ahead and drop these. I'm gonna have to plant those seeds at some point. Could I even make a farm a lot? I can. Clay soil, that's all we're missing. I'll start that when I get back to the base. For now, quest that takes maximum priority. If I can quest enough, I can get enough dukes to feed myself using the vending machines. Not that I plan on doing that gonna just have a few farm plots to take care of most of my food issues. Let's see, what did I spec into? What was my weapon of choice? Did I go bladed weapons? No. It appears as though I've specced into Pummel Pete, but I'll probably end up respecking at some point. All right, Minor 69er, Mother Load. That is the priority. Always the priority. The Kenvin Residence. I've never heard of this place before. Seems a little unusual. No scrap polymers. and sell those. No, we're not entering through the top. Always from the bottom. Then we go up. Started from the bottom. Now we are her. Let's see how long does it take to take apart these tires. Three hits. Yeah, and scrap polymers are worth it. They can sell for so much, which is going to be their main use. In the previous series, I'm sure we've realized at this point I don't need to keep anywhere near as much of the stuff as I usually do, so I'm going to be selling nearly half of everything I get for convenience. Because eventually, guns are going to be how we survive the Horde Knight. Eventually, drop the sandwich, take this for the money, and start going through here. But we need a lot of money. Constant money. We didn't even use all of it in the last series either, so we just have to get used to using the things that we have instead of holding on to them. That's the important part. Probably gonna want the cloth too. Although I'm not sure this should be a priority right now, it should be later. Yeah, we'll wait for later. For now, we'll ignore the curtains. Oh, hey, Bo. Having a little nap in the kitchen? Bit of a bender last night? Rough life. Medical journal? Take that. Painkillers? Uh, I guess I could use them. Maybe. Rotting flesh never hurts. Cornmeal? I might need it. Water is going to be a little easier to deal with. Corn? I can cook that. All right, Mo. How's it going, buddy? Let's go ahead and cure that hangover, shall we? Cured. Call me the doctor. I hear something outside. Well, it's gonna have to come to me. I'm busy. Coffee beans, murky water. A lot of things will serve to be very useful in this- oh. What was that? That sounded far closer than it was. Yeah, let's crack this open. You look like XP to me. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate that. I am growing smarter with every enemy I kill. A lot of cornmeal. I don't normally take cornmeal because it's gross, but gotta make do with what you've got. Cookie grill. I don't have one of those yet, so time to make use of it. Too bad it's not like Darkness Falls. Unlike that series, I can't just take corn and cook it for free food. At least as far as I know, there's... Is there grilled corn in this? Wait, no. There is, isn't there? Mmm but it only gives five food. The Darkest Falls thing gives eight. Far superior. What do we have? Just a dude in his mother's basement? Rough life. Let's grab some trash. Books in the trash. Wow. What is going on? I didn't increase the loot stage, did I? No, I didn't. So, what? I mean, thanks, but... Oh, what's up? Now you keep napping while I take care of your buddy here. It's like an unusual man cave. Is that what's going on here? No, no, no. Stay down. I implore you. Pipes. Think we might be able to fit in two more quests before the night is up? Or before the day is up and the night approaches. Then we'll do actual harvesting and farming. Like gathering clay and stone for cobblestone upgrades. Steel nuckies, I guess I can sell those. I'm going to be thoroughly over-encumbered. Padded hood. I don't have anything else, so sure, thanks. 
uh, wear the custom fitting, I suppose. Not sure how much that's gonna help. Uh, it's not gonna help at all, actually. I can sell it then, take the office chair, and scrap it. Now we just have these, and I think we have a second floor in the building to cover, and then that'll be it. Knife guy, outright. I don't mind increasing that skill. I'd like to respec into knives at some point here. Shotgun Messiah, okay. Some steel club parts for the selling. I was really hoping to get more forge ahead from this little tirade. Oh, we got another skill point. Can we go into advanced engineering or lockpicking? No. We're gonna need another point in intelligence to do that. So that's what we'll do. Up to the second floor. I don't typically clear the basement first. I don't know why I did that. Hmm. Oh, this looks a little bit familiar. This is just a common design for them. Yeah, in the closet. Doing construction. Weird. Very weird. You can just... Yeah, there you go. Thanks. I appreciate the whole staying down thing. Let's go ahead and uh, punch through this real quick, shall we? Nope, I changed my mind. That is insanely slow. I'm only doing like 20 damage per hit and it has 2,500 health. Big pass. More closet dwellers? Of course. You know, I opened the door. You didn't have to swing at it. That was a little rude. Oh, you're still alive. Thanks for not being alive anymore. I appreciate that. Get some more rotting flesh. It's going to give us more farm plots, which are going to be essential for this. Much more than the previous series. Mo, oh, I opened the door. You don't have to swing at it, really. Think about your actions before you do them. I bet your life will start going much better. Weighted head mod. I mean, I could have just grabbed that and sold it. I'll never craft any of that business. Let's check the mailbox. Paper. Amazing. Grab this for the scrap polymers, and just be ready to sell them. Grab this mailbox while we're here. Nothing. Damn. I see a bunny. It's tempting, but I'm not gonna chase the thing down. That'd be a mistake. Grab some eggs. Hmm. Egg. You know, I might, after getting minor 69er. Hmm. Eh, maybe. Nah. I was gonna say I might spec into stun batons. It's tempting, but I think I'll be sticking with clubs. The tried and true for now. And then eventually I'll respec into knives. Well, maybe. Maybe spears would be better, because then I could potentially do entire horde knights with melee. That could be good, because the spear is capable of piercing through multiple enemies with... I, I think it might actually just be the normal attacks, not just power attacks. That sounds pretty good. Alright, wrecked. What have you got to say to ruin my day? Bars. He's just grumbling at me, which is weird. Let's see. Weapon flashlight mod, don't really care. 9mm, can't hurt. The coal could be convenient, but take the ammo. You really can't go wrong with ammo. The nearest clear, you know what? we'll do the fetch. Speed run it, just grab and go. After, we sell some things, like this, that. Chicken soup, I'm gonna eat that. You can't have it wrecked. You don't deserve it. More of this business. What else do we have that we can get rid of? Scrap polymers. Question is, what do we want to buy? What does he have for weapons? Stone shovel, stone shovel. Nobody cares about that business. Resources. Forged iron, gunpowder, etc, etc. Nothing really worth mentioning. Books. Forge ahead. I'll take that right now. Don't even think about it. Sell the scrap polymers. Oh, he has a pipe rifle. I mean, nah, probably not. It won't be too useful to me. Check the mods. Shotgun duckbill. Science. Fence post. Well, by a generator, maybe. I see a nerd. I'm just ignoring everything that Rekt has to say. It's not worth listening to him. I'll leave that door open, just in case he gets a couple of guests. We'll drop off the grill, and then try to sneak in two more quests before the sun goes down. It would be nice if I could sprint at least a little bit faster. Even over encumbered, this is a bit rough. I'm gonna have to clear out those traitor quests as fast as I can and try to get a bicycle. That'll be a game changer. Let's see, baked potatoes. Let's just start cooking those up. I can't make the seeds right now anyway. Cook up this water. And then, did I make a chest anywhere? I don't think I did. But I am going to make a chest that's gonna be in the back around here. This is going to be my horde base, <laughs> oddly enough. It's going to be layered. There's going to be multiple floors. Uh, let's see. Chest. I mean, it would make sense for me to get some clay. Nah, we'll just wait until the end of the day. Bars. Just put the chest here for now. Painkillers. Meds. Egg. Seeds for now. And the ammo for sure. Eat this. The rest of this crap away. Actually, I think I can cook some of the corn. I'll keep the food on me. I'm probably going to keep getting cornmeal anyway. Ugh, cornmeal. Uh, you know what that'll do. Since we're doing a fetch, we probably won't be uh, doing... Let's cancel these. Put the grill in here and then start cooking. Water first, then bake up some potatoes. Now we can make grilled corn. 
Gonna have to plant some of that. Eat this and get a running. What have I got another? No, no levels yet. The next two levels are going into lockpicking and advanced engineering to increase our chance of getting the Forge Ahead book. We need to do everything in our power to make our way toward steel. Steel is happiness, and I'm out of stamina. I can see that this is going to be a real problem moving forward. Gotta remember that this is just a fetch. I don't have to kill everything. Just grab the goods and go. Let's see, what can I put on my hotbar? We'll just put the dukes in the wood for now, just to free up some space. Yeah. Alright, we have gotten this mailbox, I assume. Yes, we have, so we'll just start the quest. The fetch is right over here. Ignore everything else. Just grab the mailbox. Batter up. Sure. I think that's at 10% more damage with bats or something. I can see it. It's right here. Right through this wood. So there's probably a false floor on the other side of this and like a kitchen or something. Well, that was close. Almost a kitchen. We'll just punch through this block. It's easier than going through the stone below, as you can see. Literally one-tenth the hell. And she's awake. Not my problem. Grab my goods. Just take out a handful of these. I guess they are free XP. The more XP I get, the closer I get to forge ahead. There we go. Almost got a level up out of that, but turning in the quest should take care of this last remaining bit of xp if you can see the bar at the bottom the purple one and then we'll put another point into advanced engineering if we can if not lock picking i know it's unusual i'll never even lock pick i tend to scrap them or sell them however that's one of the only other skills that increases the drop rate for forge ahead sadly had to be a useless one 500 couple stone rocks um sure you know what no grave digger i'll take that what do we have you know what? we can do more of those pretty quickly um We'll do another fetch and then attempt to clear, unless it seems like the sun is too far down. It's sort of like midday right now. Oh, there's our level up. Advanced engineering, we would take, oh, it's four intelligence. And lock picking also takes four intelligence. Yikes. And I already invested the point. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll just go back into intelligence. Once the minor 60, or er, strength, I mean, once the minor 69er stuff is all capped out, then I'll be very comfortable with dumping everything into intelligence. I just need to be slightly better with the clubs and slightly better with the shovel. Those are the things that matter. Once that's done, everything else can be worked on, but those are the priorities, otherwise we might die. Keep getting these feathers, but I don't think I'm going to make use of them, realistically. I just don't see it happening. Trying to use a bow while you're being surrounded and your FPS has hit rock bottom? I don't think so. Part of mining. That doesn't hurt. I think it was volume one, which I don't know what that does, but now we've got it. Go us. And medical journal. I probably shouldn't even bother reading those, but, well, they're only worth like 20 dukes, so. There's a nurse. You make your way to me while I loot this trash can. All right, now, stay on the ground, but like forever. Let's go ahead and just start this quest. Grab the mailbox again, because it resets. Spear hunter, nice. It's going to be good. I'd love to spec into spears right now. It would make a serious difference, but that involves investing in the perception skill tree or stat which doesn't have too many good uh, perks to use in the early game because most of it's about guns and stealth and some other stuff okay, is that a lead battery i don't need that i can scrap it take the lead instead and if we look in perception it's guns explosions spears and then this allows you to swing spears faster and then stealth crap animal tracker guns again looting etc. Maybe after I do all the advanced engineering investments. Dog. Kill the dog first. Please be dead, dog. Oh dear, I'm bleeding. Let's kill that and just keep some distance between everything while we bleed to death. Let's see. First aid. Yikes. That only hurt a lot. The animals are far more dangerous than any zombie, as you can see. Let's go ahead and collect the bird. Wait, I have a knife. Might as well make use of it. The dog at least has hide. I can actually make use of that. There we go. And back to looting this place. Can I just open this door? Yeah, it's unlocked. The bow, and it seems to be this floppy eyeball. Oh, what in the world are you doing? You jumped, you crawled, you staggered. I don't know what you were doing with all that, but it was pretty crazy. Uh, oh, tier two. Okay, I'll just take that. Wait, I'm not supposed to be taking my time because this is a fetch. Okay, just look around for the loot. Nothing good. Mo. Look, man, I'm not trying to clear. Get out of here. Bars. Let's see, it appears to be in this closet room. Another level up. I guess it wasn't too bad to stick around. Do this. You know, I thought that that was a loot bag, but no, that's just a stripper's head. Oh, wait. No, this behind this painting. All right, let's turn this in real quick then, and then try to slip in that clear quest before the day is up. Still relatively close to midday, so we've got time. 
Lots of time. Oh, more nerds. Ooh, one shot. Rough life, truly. Priority, minor 69er or the club? Mmm, probably the club. I think if I get 7 strength, I believe that's what it is. No, I need 10. Well, 7 strength will get me to 4 out of 5 with the club, which is more than enough for me. We've seen in the previous series that just putting 4 points into the club makes it insanely effective anyway. Even better if I can get a cigar and then just get myself to 9 strength. Let the cigar give me the 10th point, and then start maxing everything out. But I am quite certain that if we look at Minor 69er here, and Mother Load, they only require level 7 strength to max out. So that's probably where we're going to stop, and then we'll start going back into intelligence for the Forge Ahead. We'll be able to get the Forge Ahead books better if we're just stronger. So, strength first. What's up, Wrecked? How about I empty your pockets? Well, How about I empty your head? of its brain contents. Uh, let's see, automatic weapons handbook, more ammo. I'll take the nine millimeter ammo. Actually, wood splitter. I, I'm gonna want that on my ax. And do one clear, and then we'll get probably back toward doing something with the base. Even if we have a little bit of extra time, we're gonna eat some food. By the way, it seems like the best bet. I'm below half, which means I'm gonna start losing uh, health and stamina. Actually, I already am. Never mind. I don't really want that. So, time to eat some potatoes. Oh no, both of these kill my water, huh? That's not good. I'm gonna have to keep looting cupboards when I go into buildings, just for peace of mind, because I'll be more likely to be getting the... Actually, hold on, can I modify this? I can. Go ahead and put the wood splitter on there. I'll be more likely to be getting the murky water jars if I'm opening cupboards and refrigerators and the like. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of time. Let's go ahead and just go through this clear and then probably dig a bit. Maybe punch some rocks with our stone fist. Try to make some cobblestone. Or actually, even better, we'll make the farm plot. Because I think what we have right now should be fine for this second day of the Horde Rush. No promises, obviously. I guess you'll know if you get to the end of the video whether or not we survive, but I'm pretty convinced that we'll be fine. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to jinx it as hard as I possibly can. More mailboxes. Damn, this house looks messed up. Trash on the ground. Mm, tasty. Um, is there a mailbox around here, or this place just mailboxes? You know what, I don't care. Just get the clear going. Do any and all things that approach. Let's also repair this. Actually, have I gotten high enough level that I can make a stronger club? Club. Nope, not yet. Just stood back to the main tab and look for eggs. Do we have any egg? What about trash? Well, that certainly was trash, wasn't it? I don't like the fact- Ooh, I got a wrench. That's nice. I don't like the fact that it's getting darker. These storms are gonna really concern me every time that I'm playing this particular series. Already a little. Ouch. Already a little freaked out. Why does it sound like there's more zombies? Oh, it's because there are. Well, you guys want to come and play? I see there's a mo up there. It's just so damn dark. Wow. This is not just dark. This is advanced dark. Hey, Mo, want to wake up? Yeah, you starting to move? Atta boy. Look at you. Rise and shine. Early bird gets the club. Let's see what's up here. A corpse. Neat, I guess. Collect that. With the free rotting flesh and nitrate. No stamina while sneak sprinting. Cool. Eat some soup. Iron arrows and armor. Neat. Free stuff. And some lag. Don't do it. Alright, I don't care about the electronics box. Next, get these tires for money. Wait, is this POI just these two little garages? Or is there a house to it? Because if it's just these two garages, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, just the garages. Sweet. Now what kind of loot are we looking at? Passing gas, and that's pretty much it. I might even be able to slip in another quest. I actually probably will. Drop that gas, don't need it. Dumpster, potato seed, sure. We have in here. Aloe vera, don't need it. More trash, what do we have? You can get a surprising amount of dukes from just collecting trash off the ground. Surprising amount. And other times you just get sand and, you know, human flesh. Electrical traps, neat. It's a good book to have. We got this mailbox yet? Yes. Let's turn this into the trader and I mean, where is the sun? I mean, I don't know why I'm looking for the sun. I think I just, I just got done playing the Darkness Falls series for the last two days. So <laughs> my, my brain keeps thinking that I can't actually see the time or anything, but it's right there at the top of the screen. I, I don't know. I just get confused easily. I also don't know why I keep entering the traitor from this particular door. I guess it's just the right door to use in my head. We have to drink more water. Well, we're already up to 1400 dukes. Turning this in gives us another 800. Pretty nice. Magazine extender mod. I mean, that could be useful. Molotovs? <laughs> that is tempting. I think I like the extender better. Realistically, 
Fetch 380 meters. Suppose I could try that out at least. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking here. Coffee seeds, blueberry seeds, potato seed. I mean, that wouldn't hurt, would it? No, it certainly wouldn't. Nah, I don't need to buy anything from this dork. Let's very quickly try to... I keep entering and exiting through this door. Why am I doing that? Try to very quickly make our way through this quest. Very quickly. We are. Wait, you know what? I still have this damn note from the duke that you get at the beginning. I don't need that. Let's eat this egg and put something on my hot bar. Let's just make it clay or something. And now we speed run this quest. No stopping. No thinking. No thinking allowed on this trip. Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh wait, I was supposed to stop and drink some water, wasn't I? Whoopsie. Well, we're already halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Ooh. Egg. No, just feathers. I redact my ooh. My interest has been removed. Come on, you're a nurse. Sure you could, you know, nurse yourself back to health. Works on other people. Sure you could find a way to flip the script. What is this? Like a outpost? Interesting. Bet there's no mailbox here. I don't know why there would be. Well, let's just loot this car and then start it up. I don't want to dilly-dally too long. Definitely not doing any quests after this. Knife guy, that's good. And loot this car again. We need to make sure not to dilly-dally for too long. So, oh, that's locked. I guess we'll have to go through here then. Is this also locked? No. Good. Can everybody just wake up? Oh, this is a fetch anyway, isn't it? It sure is. Easy peasy. Having just two points into this allows me to power attack pretty frequently with a club. Ooh, 200 dukes. It's like one third of a quest right there. See any cabinets or anything that might have water in them? No, just bookshelves. Headlights. What? Eww. I'll sell it. Why not? Corpses. Yay. Actually, I have a wrench now. I think it makes sense to collect these because I can sell the springs, which are worth four a piece. And we get all the cloth. Although this takes a while. Uh, I don't know if this is the time for it. Should we wait until I'm invested into the perk? We gotta maximize. Handguns and wiring. Okay, fridge. Just a potato. Just a damn potato. Uh, sell this. We don't need any extra cooking pots. One is enough. Home cooking. Cabinet, more bones. This is not a working vending machine. Too bad. Well, we at least got one murky water. That's a plus. I do love me some murky water. I think our fetch is all the way at the top of that tower. Of course they'd do it that way. Hello, everybody. Wake up so we can just get this little process done with all. <laughs> he was in the pooper. I hope you washed your hands, but can't just be swinging that around at people. Man, what, he just cracked the toilet. He's like, not even there anymore. These zombies really lay out some pretty intense growlers. Just stay down. There you go. That's the smart choice. Let's go ahead and start speeding through this. I don't want to take too long and get caught unawares by the horde knight. Yeah, we have one zombie up here. Doing some maintenance. Gonna do some maintenance on your skull. Are we done? No. A little hatch up here. No zombie. Weird. Go ahead and scrap this. Read the books. It's a lot of books in this POI. I even see a cracker book over there. Two, three zombies? I can manage this, I think. If they just die, thank you. Always prioritize not taking damage over doing damage. Crack these boxes open. Just gotta remember, actually I'll just do this now while I'm thinking about it. Grab the satchel before leaving. Forge ahead, that's what I like to see. I also think I just gotta level up, which is good, of course. See, first aid, plaster cast, not using that. That's only for people who, you know, make mistakes and fall, which clearly that's not me. Never made a mistake in my life. <laughs> Anything up here? No, just a lot of nothing. Awesome. Let's get out of here. I'm going to be thoroughly upset if I lose this series to gravity as well. That would be far from okay. Very far from okay. Let's go ahead and grab these for the money. This is locked again. Damn. I could just jump over here. It's like an opening in the barbed wire and everything. Perfect. Uh, random businessman just hanging out in the woods. This isn't your natural territory. Go home. You're drunk. Oh no, the over-encumbrance is making me go real slow. Might as well clear any zombies on the way. It's just free XP. Bonk. Ooh, more Ness. Damn it, just feathers. Not what I want. Give me the eggs. Daddy just wants some eggs. Almost back. I think I will be spending the remainder of the day probably digging and mining stone and clay. Of course, you get XP for it, but the primary reason is because, well, cobblestone. If by day two we can have an entire base made of cobblestone, that's, uh, pretty good. At least in my summation. This is iron, right? Just mark it. Might as well. Save waypoint right here. Iron. Again, the worst part. 
of this map, this series, is that our first traitor we came across was wrecked of all people. I knew some kind of command code to just replace him with something else, like Hugh or Bob, I would. Not Jen. I think Jen's a psychopath. I don't trust her for a second. Ooh, more bird's nest. Still no eggs. What about this one? Are you going to? Yes, you are going to continue to leave me high and dry from my egg cravings. Did I loot these? I did. Of course I did. Anything for a chance at forge ahead. I'm sure I've gone for it. Somehow I didn't lose much water from all that running and, you know, murder. Stop <laughs> making me wrecked. Skill magazine. Structural brace. Oh, schematic. Now we'll take the magazine. And that'll be it. See you later, wrecked. Actually, should I sell him some things? Do I have things that I would want to sell him? Here, steroids. I bet you love those, wrecked. Take some schematics. And scrap polymers, I suppose. Maybe half of them. And that should do All for right, now. now I don't want to hear any of it wrecked. Let's go ahead and start collecting some resources. I'm gonna have to make a little tunnel near the base, but nothing too crazy. Probably just over here to the side and to the back a bit. We'll dig down. Can I make better tools yet? Is that a thing? Stone axe too, and shovel. What about the shovel? Why? Why isn't that on the menu? Here we go. Shovel. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Vehicle Adventures, Furious Fists, and Wiring Dew. Not bad. Modify this with Grave Digger. And, well, start digging our grave. Well, we're starting to get close to that time. And it should be an interesting little escapade, considering I now have quite a bit more cobblestone to work with. I think I crafted a total of, yeah, about 600, roughly. That means that the base is going to be nice and chunky for a while, at least until we feel it's necessary to upgrade to the next tier. Good old concrete, which shouldn't be necessary for a while, I assume, although we are leveling much, much faster. Uh, my land claim block is broken and inactive apparently. I don't know how that happened, but okay, you say so game. It's gonna add a little structural integrity underneath this little archway that we have actually defending the base. They're gonna be for the best. Everything can slowly be upgraded to cobblestone from here on out, but the essential parts are here, this bridge and the archway. Which I guess I'll get these corners too, not that I really need to. Grab that one as well. This, aside from providing a nice little boost of XP, is going to give us quite the jump for a while. I don't like that they're beating up these stairs. I don't know why they are. You know what, let's make them out of cobblestone. And reduce the odds of that being a problem. Because we only have one stairway in, if they break that, things are going to get uh, uncomfortable, to say the least. I think we're going to have to prioritize in this particular series making as many good melee horde bases as we can or simply making one melee horde base as our go-to, which might not be horrible. You know what, I'll fill in this spot too, just because I can, I suppose. While we're at it, hatch. I can, in fact, place another hatch on the other side of this. Let's see. Let's place our farm plot block over here for now and get the hatch on our hotbar. Jump over here and I should... Yes, here we go. So we have two layers of hatch right here, which should be quite good. As far as I know, the only thing that could possibly come over through here is if a spider jumps up onto the base, and I don't think they're going to be coming anytime soon. Luckily. Is all of this upgraded to cobblestone? Yes, yes it is. We'll just keep these up for now and be ready for our wonderful little Horde Knight escapade, which is about to begin. <laughs> So far, things are going insanely smoothly, actually. Like, surprisingly. There are quite a few zombies. I think we're at almost 10 or 12, somewhere in that range at a time. And they haven't stopped. It's been about half an hour in-game. But the hatches are holding up. Having three of them seems to be doing the trick. I think there's a couple of them attacking my foundations down here for no good reason. So I'm going to give them a little bit less resistance by lowering one of the hatches here. Which they barely even got halfway through the first hatch. And having three points into Pummel Pete seems to be more than enough to handle this. It'd probably be better if I was specting the sledgehammers instead because then the power attack would be hitting all of them and knocking them down, giving the base more longevity, but therefore making the knight take longer, less kills in less quick succession, because if they fall off the bridge, they have to run back around. 
It might activate their rage mechanic, which we obviously don't want. We don't need them attacking anything outside of, well, what we predict that they will. Which is just the hatches, really. Yeah, see, they're barely doing anything. I think they do maybe like 9 damage per swing, so they have to hit the hatch quite a few times. Ouch again. I guess I'll start being a little bit more cautious about my placement. But they have to hit the hatch quite a few times for it to actually break. And this is just a wood one, so upgrading to iron would just take actual iron, like forged iron. And we can do that. We can definitely achieve getting some forged iron. Oftentimes it's offered up as quest rewards or inside the trader inventory. So I'm sure we can get that before we get a forge. Oh, my club broke. Let me fix that and get back to attacking. Raise this real quick. Just in case. You never know. Maybe they have a crit system where they just start mysteriously doing more damage to the hatches or other blocks. Let's take a peek. Yeah, it's barely even down by a quarter. We're doing fine. Perfectly fine. So far, I think I've achieved one level up or two. I'm not sure. At least one. However, that means that the next Horde Knight... Oh, never mind. I was off by a little bit. But that means that every Horde Knight that I do well, like this, is going to progressively get harder because my level determines how hard the zombies are and how many we get, along with the day, of course. So, while leveling up fast has it, ooh, free golden tea. Leveling up fast has its advantages, but they're not enough to really counteract the Horde Knight every night. Matter of fact, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I can hear one of them attacking something. Sounds like they're on the other side of this, perhaps? Pretty sure the night is basically over. I don't like them doing this. I have to close this all off. Yeah, I can handle at least one out in the open like this. But this appears to be the end of the night in terms of the Horde. Last time, it ended within the first hour of the game. It went from 2200 to 2300, and we were out of zombies. This time, it's closer to 2400, so we got quite a few more zombies. Although in turn, we got quite a bit more XP. We have just enough skill points to get ourselves to 7 strength, which means that the remaining 3 points will go 1 into Pummel Pete, 1 into Minor 69er, 1 into Mother Load, and then we can stop investing into strength. Should be a good time. Let's see, we're going to start out with potatoes. I think that's a good idea. Whoa, potato. I think it's a good idea to continue reinforcing our little horde base, and it seems like, clearly, I need to close off this back portion unless I want zombies to continue their little tirade against it because they were attacking this and sneaking in through here randomly and that was no bueno although they didn't really do too much damage luckily because they can only hit two blocks high they wouldn't be capable of busting down a block and then jumping up so oh it looks like they punched a hole right here so they did something certainly they'll be less likely to do this when they're faced up against cobblestone instead it'll be a much thicker pool of health that the AI will look at and be like, oh, that's definitely not worth it. I also have to make more building blocks. Definitely. Seems like wood is going to be a pretty consistent issue, at least for now, until we move everything up to cobblestone. I think that's going to be far more important in this series than the previous one, even though I overstockpiled cobblestone in the hardcore vanilla. There was no reason to. The vast majority of the time, start putting up a floor here. Actually, since this is a horde base, I think I want to make it a little bit taller. Because I believe that demolishers are the ones that can jump at least three high. Oh, there's a lot of bags right here. <laughs> Was my campfire killing things? The hell? Well, free stone axe, I guess. Can of sham. Yummy. I gotta remember not to bring these habits into the Darkness Falls series, because then I'll be eating things and getting dysentery. Because you can't just do that in Darkness Falls. But we get that leisure here, at least. Wonderful conveniences. Let's go ahead and eat these potatoes. Maybe the corn, too. Actually, we have cornmeal. What can we even do with this? I've never really looked at the recipes for it. Oh, it's because it's a bunch of crap. I see. I will eat this last bit of corn, and, well, I suppose we can start working on the next portion of our horde base. I mean, I could just take this and stretch it back a bit. It wouldn't hurt. It's a melee base, like this, but if I set the ladders on the side here, actually, they might try to climb over the hatches if I do this. I don't think they did when we were doing the previous series. All right, well, that one's already there. No, I can just pick it up. Never mind. For some reason, I thought that that was concrete. I don't really know why. We'll go with bars, then. We will set bars along the sides here. This will 
give us access to turning this into a very simple melee base by continuing to make hatches moving back. When we're really strapped for resources, we can do that. But if I want to, I can also spend my night on the other side of the bars doing well, gun stuff. So for now, we'll be extending the bars back this way. The idea is to essentially make our horde base mostly this front section, and then we're going to be having bits on the side for the forges and the chemistry benches and such. At least that's the way I envision it in my head. We'll see how that actually goes, though. Should I just fill this up from the bottom? Maybe just this section? Nah, we'll just cover up this portion here and call it good. I don't need to overinvest. I have a horrible habit of doing that. I tend to go a little too hard with everything that I do, and then I waste time, I waste resources, and eventually I die. So, trying to avoid that here. At most costs. Mostly my peace of mind is what's being sacrificed. I tend to make things excruciatingly thick so unnecessarily thick that it's almost ludicrous, but I'm trying to avoid that with this series. We're trying to keep our base afloat a bit above ground because it'll incentivize the zombies to go to the stairs. Unlike before, we had our base on the ground, flat, in the hardcore series, and that resulted in the zombies attacking from all directions, which is far from bueno. Very far from bueno. So the hope this time is that they'll be goaded into stairs if we just keep minorly aloft. And I think, I'm quite sure actually, that three high is the limit. Like, you don't have to go higher than this. The zombies won't be able to jump up here. The closest you'll get is spiders, and well, we'll be putting walls up around this place eventually. So we don't have to worry about them either. They can jump and lunge as much as they want. It's not going to do anything for them. Apparently I'm cold, which is a bit surprising. I'm in the standard biome. It should be, well, standard. Maybe it's because I'm relatively close to the winter biome. It's right over that way. Not that you can see, because, you know, blood moon lighting. Grow, little potato. You are our future. We cannot live without you. I need more nitrate, which means I need to collect more corpses. I'll get around to that eventually. Eventually. Well, we've got our first floor built here. I think we're going to extend it back a little bit more. Maybe five more blocks. It'll be maintaining this width. This from the left side here over to the right side here. We'll maintain that width, but we're going to go back five more blocks. I'd like to have more space to operate with because our living space and our surviving space for the Horde Knight are going to be mixed together. We need a relatively large base to make that work properly. It's also why I've got these pillars so close together. We don't need to have a pillar every three blocks, but if one of them gets taken down by a particularly pissed off zombie, let's get this chrysanthemum out of the way, but if one of them gets taken down by a particularly pissed off zombie, then we can still keep the building afloat, at least. That's the part that matters. We gotta stay afloat, after all. If I so desire, I could also set up a little ladder and a hatch down into this spot and make this more extension on the base, this ground level. Because I think they would detect the walls, but still detect the stairs as the primary way to get in. As long as I only have one hatch up, the more hatches I have, the more health they consider the entryway to have. The less likely they are to do that instead of just punching through a wall. Let's see, that's four blocks? Yeah, it will just do four more. Why not? I'm not too concerned about the resources here. This is just wood. This is probably not going to go any further than cobblestone for a long time. Most of this series is going to rely on concrete once we get there, but, well, we have to get there first. Ooh, level up. Nice. Which means this can go into minor 69er, I suppose. I'm not so pressed in combat that I have to invest immediately into the last part of Pummel Pete. We'll be fine with three points until things escalate a bit, or at least until I can get that next skill point, which, well, that's not too far away. Eight blocks, yes, that should be about even. Then we do the same thing over here. Just a nice little wall. It's gonna be huge. I'd say today was very successful. We set up quite a bit, including a whole farm plot that we really didn't need to set up, but we did go on us. We have enough dukes that we could feed ourselves for the next week, almost, just buying things from the vending machine. We achieved a, another horde night where we ran out of zombies before we ran out of time, which was definitely a good thing. That's always a good sign. I don't think we really took many hits. There's no losses, there's no infections, there's, there's no L's to be taken here, which is great. Very great. 
And that was the morning ring-a-ding-dong. We'll finish up this little pillar here. With it, whoa, that's a lot of trees. Sure is. With it, the end of episode two of the Horde Rush series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.